Am I supposed to talk now? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pajama Talk. So today, I decided to, um, you know, get my mind off the fibro pain because fibromyalgia is kicking my ass so hard that my teeth are jumping out of their sockets. So, yesterday, I went to Sunrise Records and um, all the Funko Pops were $10 Canadian, which is a good price. And uh, I got the uh, Jurassic Park dinosaurs. So we've got, of course, the ever so beloved Tyrannosaurus. No, wait, that's the Velociraptor. And my phone is, is ringing. We're going to ignore it. It's probably my husband. So opening the box because yes i opened the boxes i am not one of those collectors who puts the boxes on a uh, on a shelf and never manipulates their funko pops i'm five and i like to play now to everyone who collects these and pulls them out of their boxes um I, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I've actually thrown some of these away. And the way I found out that I had thrown some of these away is that I uh, I went back, brought one back to the store and complained that it kept falling over. And um, I don't remember if it was a guy or, or a girl at the cash, but it was like, um, but it's not on the base. And then I felt like a moron when they explained that the base would have been in the plastic. So, yeah, dear Funko Pop, um, could you possibly make uh, bases that, I don't know, glow in the dark, yell, <laughs> jump up and down, so we don't throw them away? So here is the Velociraptor. So I think it's still focusing on me and my blue hair. The focus on this camera is annoying sometimes. Okay, well, anyway, so that's him. He's so cute! And then we have... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Dilophosaurus. Di Dilophosaurus? That's, that's the one that, uh, that butt dials you. Because he's a Dilophosaurus. Unless I'm pronouncing it wrong and he's Dillo. Thesaurus. Anyway, if you have watched Jurassic Park, um, you will remember this little guy as the guy who finally did away with the uh, super annoying uh, character of the computer guy. There we go, focus. I love dinosaurs, which makes me... What, an eight-year-old boy? It's so cute! Look, don't you want him to hiss and, and throw some venom in your face? He's just adorable! And last, but certainly not least... The T-Rex! I have, and I don't have him yet, but I have on order... Um... The uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm reclining like a sexy Dr. Ian Malcolm dude that he is. Um, I can't wait to get that. Then I, I will have just the perfect Jurassic Park setup on my desk. Um, you can't see this, but I'm just throwing all the plastic and, and cardboard away. Because, you know, that's me. I am the best housekeeper since uh, June Cleaver. And if you believe that, I have encyclopedias to sell you. So. <coughs> Wasn't this the most exciting Unboxing of Funko Pop dinosaurs ever. Just put it on your shoulder. Like, 
whisper sweet nothing in your ears. That, um, that actually reminds me of this really, really stupid song that my husband, my best friend, and I made up, um, good lord, 25 years ago or something. Um, but it went something like, hello, hello, I'd like to introduce to you my Tyrannosaurus Rex, Jack Frost, and what was it? Chestnut. Yeah, that's right. So it's my Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, Jack Frost, and um, your dog Chestnut. So it goes, Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <coughs> Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Ah! Now you're deaf. So yeah, that was it. So, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Thank you for watching this completely ridiculous video, which brought nothing into your life except, hopefully, smile. Mwah. Have a great day.